all right guys so welcome back to the part 2 and in this part we are going to set up the simulation for the dry and the wet sand hagam okay. so this is the water which is falling on top of it and this is the dry sand so we are using the uh, snow preset over here so again like you know it's completely up to you so i like the snow one because you know it creates more chunks and all okay so yeah let's get started and what we're going to do here is you know like i mean the setup part is like fairly easy we just you know used to preset and that's it and the main thing is you know like uh, transferring the wetness from the water to the sand so you can see like you know wherever the water touches the sand the sand you know it's getting wet and you know like it's changing the color so we want to transfer a few attributes inside the dop net and then we are going to use that to like render out and you know like mix materials between the dry and the wet sand look all right okay so let's begin so here is the simple scene again uh, i hope you have wa uh, watched the part 1 okay for the basic stuff so this is going to be the sand this is going to be the water and this is the collider here okay which has gone into the npm collider this is the npm container from where we can set up the resolution and stuff okay and then we have this npm solver over here and like i was just change i think just one setting over here which is friction i have put it to like 0.04 by default this is set to 1 which will make everything look very viscous okay all right so let's start and what we want to do here is like first of all we want to use a npm source okay so this is the like uh, the dry sand kind of thing and again like you know this will ask you for a npm container so just drag and drop your npm container over here okay all right so for this one you know like i want it to be the dry sand kind of thing so i'm going to just choose the snow because you know like as i said like snow it works really good in the dry sand preset like for the dry sand look as well okay now if you just want to have a very dry sand you can just change it to this sand option here okay and if you increase this cohesion option it will transfer its look from you know dry sand to like wet sand same happens with the friction angle as well so friction angle means like you know if you decrease the friction angle it will have less friction and if you increase it you know it will have more friction so if you want to like have a completely dry look for the sand you can use a very low value around 5 or 2 okay and cohesion just means you know like uh, it's transferring its state from dry sand to the wet sand okay now for some reasons i feel like you know this snow preset works really good if you want chunks in the sand and stuff and then you can just play with the density to like you know make it little bit heavier than the snow itself okay so i'm just going to keep it to the snow itself over here okay and then i'll just make a copy of this thing put it over here and this one i'll just change it to the water okay now here i'm just using uh you know like a brownish shade of color which resembles the sand and over here it's a water color okay uh, let's just do a quick simulation and i'll change the resolution to like you know 0.02 so again the final resolution that i'm going to work will be around uh, 0.01 i mean it's going to be 0.01 itself okay but as of now let's just do a quick sim at 0.02 and let's see what we get here all right so this is what we have right now and it looks really good i guess you can see like we have chunks of sand here and there and you know like uh it's making the water stick to it and you know water it's making the uh sand float on top of it okay so i think like uh, this is working here okay now uh, the main thing that we want to do here is like you know it's not in the simulation it's more inside the solver itself and that is like you know we want to transfer the attribute so when this water it touches the sand the sand should get wet okay at the same time if you want you can also create some extra attributes so like you know as i told you uh if you are just working with the sand preset and not the snow preset so we have some option of like cohesion and friction angle and you can transfer those attributes so i'll show you one example which is something that we are going to do in the last part of the tutorial so if you see over here this is what we have okay and you can see like uh when these so once again this is this is inspired by uh, igor zenik so i saw it on the hudney website and if you see like when the uh, duck it moves towards the water to the sand the sand you know it starts to clump in these areas again okay? so we get more clumping but in these areas you can see you know we don't see a lot of clumping here but when the sand it's getting wet it's showing more and more clumping okay 
so that is something which i have done by transferring attributes like cohesion and stuff and friction angle as well okay so this is something that we'll look in the last part okay as of now let's just you know talk about the basic stuff itself okay all right so now the way i'm going to work with this scene is you know like uh, i'm going to like disable these colors okay and instead of this color i'm just going to use you know like i'll take this and i create a white color over here for the water okay and i'm going to take this color i'm going to create a black color so now the reason why i'm using uh, the colors here is just that you know like uh, it could be better in the visualization you can use any kind of attribute okay so we have this white and the black color and now what i want to do is you know like when these uh, when the water it comes near the sand it should start to transfer this color attribute then we are going to use that color attribute to like uh, blend between two shaders okay again this is kind of a wet map technique itself so to like achieve this thing there's one more thing that you want to do here so i'll just create a group node here okay and i'll just change it to the points and i'll call it water okay and this one i'll just call it sand okay now i'll just go inside the npm solver here okay and i'm going to use a sop solver so sop solver can you know like bring all the attributes from the sop level to the drop level okay and i go inside this i'll just disconnect this output now drop geometry means you know uh, it means the simulation geometry and it's going to bring the groups and all that stuff here as well okay so let's go here and let's use a blast node first of all so i i want to like separate the sand and the snow or you can say you know sorry the sand and the water okay so let's go here and let's choose the sand so this will become water here so this is the water okay and then we'll just make a copy and you know do a delete non selected and this will become the sand okay now what i want to do is i want to transfer the attributes from the water to the sand because you know water is going to make the sand wet okay not the other way around so what we want to do is just use an attribute transfer okay and transfer the attributes from the water to the sand okay and in this points let's choose the cd attribute here okay now if you look over here we have this distance threshold option okay and you can see like this is set to a very high value by default okay if i start to decrease this you can see you know, like that is what we start to get okay so this is what we have right now you can use some values and you know like you can use some attribute transfers blend with here okay so what we'll do we'll just you know use something like maybe 0.1 okay and 0.1 for the blend width okay and the problem here is you know like uh, we do get the transfer attributes and we do get the like sand here but the water goes missing okay so attribute transfer only outputs the the transferred state right so what we want to do here is like we'll just use a merge node okay and we'll merge the original sand with the water here okay so now if you click on this so you'll see like you know we'll get the sand and the water as well and you'll have to make sure you connect it to the output and always display the render flag on the output otherwise this won't work so you know uh sob solver has some weird workflow here okay and i mean that is it let's go back to the sob level and again you know like if you have simulated inside the inside the sob solver just make sure to like you know click on this reset simulation and you know there are some weird bugs in hodni 20s viewport so you can see like you know even though all these colliders and stuff are off still we are you know seeing them on the viewport if something like that happens just close the scene view and open it again and that should fix the issues here so let's go and let's hide the background stuff okay and let's just make a quick preview and let's see how it looks okay so we'll see the transferring of attributes in the action and let's see how it looks okay so if you have a look now you can see you know like how 
uh, as soon as the water it comes near the sand, you know, like it almost transfer the attributes, okay, and the sand it changes the color, okay. So we can, you know, like what we're gonna do is like, you know, we'll just blast out the sand, and we are going to use the. So let me show you, like, you know, just going to use a blast out. Obviously, we'll have to file cache it out, and once we blast out the water, okay. So you can see we have this transition state for the sand, which is getting wet from the dry state. Okay. So I think right now one problem is, you know, like uh, the transfer of the attribute is like happening is way too early. Okay. So to fix that, I'm just going to change the values in the attribute transfer. So I think I'll choose something like 0 0.03 and 0 0.0, maybe one for the blend width. Okay. Now this is something that you'll have to set according to your scene and the particle separation that you're using. Okay. Let's just have a preview and let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is what we have got. And now I think, you know, this looks a lot better. So only where the, uh, you know, the water touches the sand, that is the area where, you know, it transfers the attributes. Now, again, this is something that we'll have to look once we render it out as well, okay? But I think, I mean, yeah, this is working, okay? So, yeah, that is it for this part. And, you know, I'm just going to simulate it on the highest resolution possible. I go around 0 0.01. If you have the guts you can go higher if you have the guts and the you know graphics and uh, if you have like you know maybe around 12 GB or more than that uh, kind of card you can easily go for a lower value but again you know it will take some time so yeah and now we can just you know just cache it out so I'll just going to use a file cache change this to the explicit and you know like I'm just going to cache this thing all out alright so in the next part we'll look at the rendering of this stuff okay uh, we'll just create some custom shaders for this. Okay, so we're just going to create a classic core shader for the water. And, uh, you know, we'll just use some brown color kind of shader for the points. And a darker brown color for the wet point, again, okay, for the wet sand. And we're going to mix between both of them. Alright. So yeah, that is it. Let's meet in the next part and we'll look at the rendering stuff. Alright. Bye-bye.